Yo, check this out. Oh God, sweet Jesus. I actually had to back up. <laughs> Black Power One, fuck. Greetings, everybody. Right, How you guys doing? Really good. Great. You say a little bit for the general. Black Two, another video. Guys, welcome Black Two. Fatal Frame, baby. We haven't had. We haven't been here in about a month or some change. I almost forgot a little bit of the story. But last we left off, we was at the homie, that detective that found the girls on that island or some sort and everything like that. So I think it was, I forgot how many girls there was. Two of them are confirmed dead. In the beginning, one, another one did die. So that's three. Uh, now we got two more girls that are still alive, which is the main girl and the other girl from the very beginning as well. So we got those two girls and we got the detective. So I don't know if you guys are ready now, but Griff Gang! One, two, three, kick it! All right, so hopefully you guys can let me know how my audio levels and everything sound on the game and my and all that stuff like that because this is my first recording that I'm using with the Go XLR Mini that I got myself uh, a couple days ago from this recording. So hope my mic audio sounds very fecky and much better. So uh, we'll see this is the first test. I even did a test stream and everything like that um, not too long ago and uh, see how everything was. So I figured when we come back here, let's go ahead and get into this puppy. Uh, the next horror game we're gonna play is also uh, is, uh, at Dead of Night. So I do have that game and that's gonna be coming up very soon as well. I haven't touched it yet, but yeah. So I think I read this, uh, the last gameplay I wanna say, so we're gonna keep it pushing. Where did you go? I'm remembering. Okay. Oh, okay, got it. Void. Ruka. Minazuki. All right, we got homegirl. That's the main character. Let's get it! All right, phase foe. Okay, I, all right, we did leave off on that. It has been a month since we touched this. Let's get it. Hopefully, I remember my buttons. Is it this button? Okay, yeah, that triangle is to do that. To jog slash walk fast, maybe run is this button, right? Got it. It's the trigger. Left trigger. Okay. It's been a hot freaking minute. All right, what I am gonna do, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully this doesn't jeopardize much. So I'm gonna move my desk up just a little bit. Okay, the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm playing with a controller and like, my controller's like hitting this desk. All right, because if I get a jump scare, I'm not having that. I'm not having, I'm not trying to bust my fingers. I missed it, did I miss a chance to take a photo? There you are, bench. All right, nurse heading to station. All right. So I know we're gonna have to, come on, baby girl, sway them hips. So we're gonna have to follow home girl. I hope in the last one y'all enjoyed that. It was a, I think it was a month ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> that music again, who's playing that music? All right, find the source. Okay. Is this even what you call music? Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hear some lyrics. Like if you can't freestyle to it, is it really music? I'm kidding guys. Music is a work of art. You don't need to freestyle to it. Some music doesn't require freestyle or require any like hardcore rap gangsters type, you know, music. Speaking of music, have y'all ever rapped a rap song and said the whole entire word? Like, let me think, let me think of a song. Okay, yeah, let me think of a song. All right, so you guys know DMX, right? You know, flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. Say like if you said that whole song, like every single syllable, flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. On my get down like what? Like it, it, it sounds very sarcastic. Maybe I'm over exaggerating a little bit. Okay, so it's coming from there. All right, one thing I noticed about this game is that you're just gonna have to follow the ghosts. They they basically tell you where to go. Ooh, is that another go XLR? The stop XLR? Like so like so I can stop this music? Switch it off? No. No. Okay, okay. I thought it was a trick question. I hate when games ask you a yes or no kind of deal. Just Yes, turn it off. There's a logbook by the switch. All right, one time, one item to report today. Experimented today with musical therapy by playing music over the speakers between 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. As usual, the music was a selection from, from the moon sounds. Some patients, especially the youngest children, were seen to present extreme reactions not normally seen in them. Since the, blah, blah, blah. Since the therapy has been proven to produce an effect, it may be carried out again in the future. My elbow is itching. However, I believe that most of the reactions seen today were not positive. The behavior of our patients still hold many mysteries for us. The next time such experiments are carried out, please prepare as much as possible for unanticipated situations. I'm sorry, this is only phase four. I'm, I know we still got a, I know we still got a long way to go for this game. I'm sorry, guys. 
Light for room 207 is lit up. Ayako is written on the nameplate. Now, is that the... Come to my room. Yes, ma'am. I want a new one. Now, if I if I remember vaguely of it, I could have just... You're going to come up in here? I've beaten you so many times. Yep. I've beaten you so many times. You don't know who you're funking with. You're funking with Ruka. This girl don't play. Look at that. See that? You just got clapped. Do you think? Bam. Look at that. Talking about, look at that. Yep. Blind your eyes, huh? Bam. Blind them eyes. Put on some sunglasses. Maybe we can get hurt. Oh, hold on. Alright, I gotta do the uh, I gotta do a quick turn. Bam. Oh god! Good look, baby. Something is lying where the ghost disappeared. Musical therapy. A meeting will take place tomorrow at 6 p.m. to explain the experimental treatment of playing music over the speaker system. Information about the location of the meeting will follow the nurse in charge of room 207, which is where we're going next. And the new building should bring the music score from the room next door. Okay, so 207, so it's either 206 or 208. So if I, if I remember correctly, the blue down there means that there's an item in this room that I have to examine. Right there, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get up out of here. Oh, but yeah, guys, like, yeah, how does the audio and everything sound with the Go XLR uh, and everything, how I have it set up? I did a couple of voice recording tests and everything, see how everything was sounding. I really hope it sounds uh, really great. I'm not going to keep repeating that, but I'm genuinely curious on how it sounds. I'm pretty sure an editing uh, editor Griff will understand and he'll, maybe if he'll tweak it or not. But everything sounds fine on the tw on the test streams that I did. It, it sounded just fine as well, but we'll see. We'll see. I tested it out on on a certain game that has very loud menu music, which is the Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. That menu music was incredibly loud, and uh, my voice was just enough. It was loud enough to a point where, like, if that you can turn your stuff down and you guys will be able to hear. Now, if I remember Homegirl here, wasn't this the Homegirl that did a lot of, wasn't she like a bully kind of thing? If I remember correctly, she's not a good one. If I remember last time, Homegirl actually scared me in the last episode. Oh, I can't carry anymore? What? Medical file, Ayako. There's a patient medical file on the bed. Ayako, room tw room 12. Room 207, H12. Patients exhibit symptoms of sudden memory loss as well as singular lack of ethics and morality. Example, okay, like I said, she's a bad. She's a bad one. Exemplified in the enjoyment she gets from causing pain and taking life. She may be using aggressive behavior as a means to keep a grip on her sense of self. Other patients have displayed tendencies to cling to objects or aspects of personality, but Ayako is the first to cling to violence. Her moonlight syndrome may only be a moderate stage of advancement, but she requires careful observation. Now I'll just put her in a just put her in a in a medical hospital, call it a day, put her in jail. Funk that. You ain't get you ain't getting you ain't getting off that easy. Oh god! As soon as I said go to the, uh, a medical, she, she wasn't having it. All right. Come on, little girl. Come on. I noticed a lot, a lot of, as soon as I take a picture of her, oh my, God. did my character really do that? Oh my God. I'm about to run it. Items. Do I have any consumables? Yes, please, thank you, Lord. I'm not trying to die on my first gameplay back of this. I don't know what my character was doing, like trying to get away from the hands kind of thing. Why are we doing that? Like, look at her, what's she doing? I, I'm losing control. Oh God. If I got you in my sights, locked in, baby. I got better aim in this than I do in Call of Duty. Oh no, you getting are oh, you getting double hit? You ain't getting that off for free. This ain't dollar this ain't Dollar Tree. Oh crap. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Speaking of Dollar Tree, what if you ask for a discount? Oh, you must be the boss, or like the mini boss, because you got a lot of help. Where you at, honey? I know you're 12, but I but you're you're done. Okay, all right, you are right, you're obviously you're you're playing me you're playing me like a fiddle. Oh god. Okay, cool. Do the ring around the rosy. Bam! Oh, that could be a good thumbnail. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens to the rest of the game. You're not disappearing on me. Nope, you're getting hit right there. Uh-huh. Can you get hit again? Oh crap. Oh that little smile. Y'all saw that little smile she did? Ah, your camera didn't work. I don't care if you're 12, I'm gonna move those two numbers and I'm gonna reverse them. You're 21 now. Pretend this camera's a belt. I learned from the best in, be in belt jutsu, my own mother. Look at that. As soon as I said belt, look what happened. 
looked just like me. As soon as I got hit with the belt, it was a wrap. I laid on the floor and just said, yeah, I'm dead. The Lord, the Lord got me. He, he won. But my knees would be done. Bro, that's, that's, I say it every time. That's literally the grudge, man. Walk. Walk and walk out. Don't disturb home, girl. We're locked in. Funk. Oh, oh God, it's one of those. Oh, God. All right. Here we go. <laughs> okay, that didn't get me. That's a big head. Ayako in bed. I don't want to see her in bed. Four post of bed. Red cords are tied between the posts. There is no one in the bed. Oh God, can we please get out of here? Why is there an item in this room? Oh yeah, the room next to the, yeah, that's right, I had to get this. I might remember something if I played on the dining hall piano. Oh, fan or notebook, okay. Memory and music are deeply connected. I've seen many examples of music prompting the recollection of forgotten memories. One such case was a patient of mine who would play various phases in a piano, seemingly using the notes and phrases as tools to explore her own mind. She started to play several similar phrases over and over, changing the keys slightly each time. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Those phrases must have had some connection with her deeply buried memories. The improvement in her condition was dramatic and so very surprising. Unfortunately, she killed herself after recovering from her memories. R.I.P. This case ended in failure, but what's certain is that the music can reach deep regions of the mind excess inaccessible to mere language. Right? Yeah. There is music like that on this island. I remember hearing it. It was a, I was a child. They call them moon sounds. There are different kinds of moon sounds, but I remember some of them being used during rituals and festivals. Look at them trying to be deep, moon sounds. Man, the moon has no sound because it's in space. You shouldn't be able to hear anything. Let's just say it's two things that don't match, like airspace, because <laughs> there's no air in space. Most of the moon sounds have been passed down by the word of mouth. The melodies are ancient, but I've definitely seen documents about them somewhere. Seems it was worth coming back to this island in the end. Play a song on the dinner hall piano. Okay, can we actually leave this room? Stay away. I didn't want to come here. Oh my god. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm breathing out here. I don't remember anything, but it doesn't matter anymore. Okay. It doesn't matter anymore? Then why are you telling me to stay away? Nothing matters. It's all going to go away. The moon. The moon. Fuck. There's no sound on the moon. The way she sounded, she was trying to be, she was basically being dramatic. So I had to capture that essence. Dining hall, I, the dining hall is this way, ain't it? We better find out, G. There's that carpet, that rug again that I wish I could go in the game and just straighten out. But like I said, that's my self-diagnosed OCD. Now the dining hall, if I remember correctly, I know this was like one, the main part of the entrance somewhat, some sort. And the dining hall was like, I think it was around, was it around, the, no, it wasn't around this corner. Where's the map? All right, now can homegirl play Moonlight Sonata? Cause that's what I want to hear, but that's gonna be copyrighted heavy. Play the piano by following the notes. Press the button corresponding to each glowing key to play it. You'll be successful if you can match the timing. Oh, this is it, QTE style, baby. According to the score, it should sound like this. Follow notes and play the piano. I I need a re I need a repeat of that. Okay. Oh God. I'm thinking X because I have a PlayStation controller. It sounds like Halloween. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. I would play it, copyright. We're monetized now, Griff Gang. Okay, it must be telling where I gotta go. Alright, so I know where that I know exactly where that door is right there. 308. I'm not gonna see the numbers though. Huh! We're straight. Yes. 
I always took that lift. God. So I know where to go. So I think the faster way is to go with the, around the other side of the dining hall. Cause I, I think it's like one big loop here in this era. But I know what room that is. I, I literally just passed that door. Huh, I say that as I just went the other way. As I said before, good God. Ooh. Oh, where shall we go today? Heaven, baby girl. Oh God, I'll come with you. You look so good. Woman in black lurking. <laughs> it's like most of y'all on my streams. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, y'all. People don't realize lurkers help the stream a lot. Even if they're not watching, they just have it on as background noise. With, you know, they're passed out, they're asleep. I'm lying like a rug. That's what makes these gameplays so long, at least in favor, like my recordings for this game be sort of long. The video, it really just depends. I try to keep a video being each chapter. Um, at least, depending on how uh, short or long the chapter was. I will say so far, the most boring chapter so far was the detective chapter that I just did. However, I did have the biggest jump scare in that in that video. But these chapters with the ladies, it's not because I like playing as the ladies, no. But it's, there's a lot more excitement that happens in their chapters. More jump scares, and not only that, with a lot of the ladies in this game, they're afraid, which makes me afraid. But playing as that detective, it seems like he knows what he's doing. You know, he's the one who's helped save the girls and everything like that. I, you know, no pun intended, but I feel safe with the with the dude. Where is room 308? I wake up and I realize I'm looking at the moon. When I look at the moon, my mind's come back a little bit, but now I think I'm going to sleep looking. 10 pages. Ruka, do you remember? I wanted to give back what I couldn't remember, but some things are best left forgotten. But it doesn't matter, you see? It's all going away, all going away. I left a lot of spaces in there and I got a lot of bank pages. Ah, 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 ah. More A's, it's over. More A's than I got in school. See, if I played this game often, I would at least remember the layout of this godforsaken thing. If I stayed really consistent on this game, I would have been beating this by now, and we could have went on to another series. The problem is, homeboy be working, man. But I got I got to make time to make these videos and stuff like that, be, especially. And it sucks when I'm like, if I'm watching an anime or if I'm in heavy into a show, I'm like, oh, I want to see that, I want to see that episode, but I got to make this video. You know, I got to keep that same mindset because, like, not saying that streaming or anything like that is hard, no. But I mean, like, we got a really good momentum going with the channel and everything. And I want to keep that momentum going, you know? I mean, it's definitely not the momentum we had when Ready Before and everything came out. Because that was that's when the, our channel was lit. Our channel is not too bad right now. We're, we're slowly making improvements. The Go XLR that I got right now is the last, is the last thing I'm going to invest in my channel for at least a while. My next thing is to get an actual DSLR camera uh, for my live streams and uh, recording. Because I want it to look much better than what it is right now. It's fine now. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, this, this, camera's, this camera's legit. But I eventually want a uh, legit camera. I know which one I want, but it's on my wish list on Amazon, and I ain't got the money for it. So, at the same time, though, that probably won't be till we get to the new house or anything like that next year. Because I at least uh, this is gonna be our last year in this in this house, and I'll be living by myself uh, next year. Sorry, I'm talking a lot when I probably could just skip a lot of this. But I'm gonna talk you guys ear off. I haven't made a video of Fiddle Frame in a hot little minute. Last video, uh. I know it was kind of weird that I made a video on like the Go XLR and all that stuff like that. I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted to put something different. And I'm not gonna lie, when I was setting all this up, there was not a video that did that because the way I edit my videos, the way I separate my auto tracks and stuff like that. So I was like, let me see if there's a video on it. I didn't see a video of it. So I was like, okay, how about I do it? Many people may not look at it and I, and I get it. You win some, you lose some, but I enjoyed making that video. It was pretty quick. It was a quick video. It was simple. I'm still, still keeping up with my shorts content. nico has been carrying that puppy because I'm not naturally funny. Nico is the is the funny one. Where the funk is this godforsaken room? All right, well, all the conversation I had with you guys carry, kind of carried over, made things a lot interesting. Literally, I'm right at the lift. So what is there to investigate? This game is not straightforward, G. Now, mind you, I know it showed me which door I got to go to, but it just said there's a lift. Now, it said 308, so that means there's another floor up here because there's an arrow that's pointing up. So I can go up. So all I had to do was walk. Where shall we go today? So I literally just had to walk in this, in this direction. Wow, man. And she opened it up for me. Sweet Jesus. It doesn't seem to be switched on. Oh, come on! Woman in, woman in black with sister. How do we know that's her sister? Did she say that? All right, so 19 you know, of course, you just follow the, the ghost. And then you follow, and then eventually, you're gonna fight him. It happens every time. I will live forever. I'm about to approach homegirl, and I'm about to touch her back, give her a massage. My 
What's the cutscene? Looks like the maiden of black water. Oh God! I knew that was coming too. Don't touch me. I'm sorry. Look at you. You're looking pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna have to hurt you now. Oh man. Wait, is there two of y'all? Oh, there's two of y'all. Women in black. Oh God, sweet Jesus! I actually had to back up. <laughs> <laughs> or actually what I have to do, I have to kill her. I have to get rid of her and then I can attack her. So she has to die. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. So it's kind of like the uh, the boss in House of the Dead 2, the very first one. If you shoot at the flying thing instead of the armor dude, you lose a lot more health. So it's kind of like that. So she has to fall. Now she's vulnerable. Got it. Just as soon as I figured that out, baby. I was wondering why that was taking so long. Yeah, I'm not gonna look. I'm gonna just keep moving and walk out the door. Maybe, maybe that's what I gotta do. Right? Good looks, Griff. Good looks, bro. Good looks. We did that. All right. So we go here, we go straight, and there we get us right there. All right. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So we have the right idea. I didn't go downstairs, so I don't know where it was like where that's at, but that's fine. What the fuck? Sounds like a toilet flushing. Unlock the door. What's this? Oh, this is to outside. Okay, okay, okay. So it's a good thing I didn't go down there then. It was already locked. Alright, cool. I would wait just I just I would have just wasted my time. I'm pretty sure that's why the game had that ghost appear there. Makes sense. So it wouldn't it wouldn't tempt the player to go downstairs. Knowing that that door is locked. Ooh, thank you, developers, because uh, that would have peed me off knowing that, considering that you can't really run fast. You got to take what you can get. There's the switchboard. Okay. And it said 23. So I got to make the numbers equal 23. Got it. All right, perfect. <laughs> that's, not, that's not like the elevator in, uh, <laughs> in Resident Evil 2. Because I know the lizard must be working. I missed it. Fuck everything. Well, what's this switch here? Is this a switch right here that I can press? Okay, so that. Alright, so I gotta go there. Alright. But Homeboy did go into the, into the room here. So let me go ahead and pick this up and then we'll go through those doors. On duty nurse's memo. To today's on duty nurse. The password for the door to the third floor ward has been changed to 1956. There are some extremely sick patients on the third floor, so be very careful with the door to that floor. Yeah, because they touched the knob, it's a wrap. If they did or if they did a little something strange with the knob, that's a wrap. Hey, I'm not judging, you do what you do. Serving shall not enter. I'm going right in. I'm going in. Unless am I not supposed to go there? Had a feeling it wasn't gonna allow me to open. Wait, what? Whoa! Get off my back! Get off my back! I I <laughs> I immediately just didn't aim. I just said, "Fuck it." <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I missed too. We bit. We missed together. We missed together. Let's try this again. Let's do it again. Oh God, look at you. Look at you. Do it, do it, swing. Aha! 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 Look at that, baby. <laughs> you already died, but you died again, so you're dead dead. The thing I know about that fatal frame, clickety clackety combos. Ultra! Let's run. 
Let's run. So that's kind of like the Maiden of Black Water. Like, like that's the enemy you can't kill or you gotta run away. It was the same thing in Maiden of Black Water. There's always, every time she popped up, we had to move. Bro, I'm getting, I'm getting PTSD at that boss fight from uh, Maiden of Black Water because that took me a while. Oh God! How was that? A, how was that not a threat? How was that not a threat? I don't even care if I missed that one, even though it was right in my face. All right, so it's gonna be floor three. The lift jolts in motion. Okay. I thought I thought it was, I thought I was about to say something was stuck. I was like, come on. So still, we gotta get to 308. Her right hand is in a really good spot right now. I'm just saying. All right, so we gotta get to room 308. I didn't look at the rest of the floor, but let's just see what's up. Let me see if I can find 308. Oh, I gotta unlock the other parts of the map. Fine. He's calling. You know what's crazy is that you, she's not letting out one scream. All this. What the combination? Oh, one, uh, nine, 1956. Looks. Ruka? Oh, that's my name, baby. Head towards room. Oh, I'm following you. I'm right behind you, nurse. Nurse! I need healing. Sexual healing. New building, third floor status in the July. Room 308, Silent Moon. Ruka. Is that who I am? I know my name is Ruka, but is that, is that the same last name? I can't remember. We have been asked to report the results of Ruka's musical therapy report, the progression of her moonlight syndrome symptoms to the director, as well as which moon sounds she responds to. Room 309, Faded Moon. Yuko, a generous donor to the facility. He gets upset if you enter his room while he is painting, so please avoid doing so if possible. Also, never touch his paintings. Waning Moon, Aso. Masaki is receiving a special treatment directly from director Haibara. She is quite delicate, so do not let her make contact with the patient on the fourth floor. Who is the patient on the fourth floor? Kagiri is being treated by the director in conjunction with her family doctor. Do not enter her special treatment room except in an absolute emergency. Go to your former room. I'm about to say, okay, so that is me. So I wonder what happened during all this stuff, man. I feel it coming back. God. God. When the music plays, the peace of my memory rises up. 308. I know this place. Void. All right, got it. Yeah, good phase, y'all. Good phase. Summary. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this summary real quick. While exploring Rogetsu Hall, Misaki Aso comes across a girl in black, the same girl who appears in her fragmented memories, calling her back to Rogetsu Ayo. Now, Masaki Aso, that's the girl from the beginning, the one that didn't die. Masaki desperately wants to find out the connection between the girl and herself. Following the girl through the darkness, she arrives at a room, the room where Madoka was hospitalized 10 years ago. Masaki discovers that all five girls who disappeared were patients of the Rogetsu Hall Sanatorium. They were being treated for Moonlight Syndrome, a condition unique to Rogetsu Isle. While looking for Madoka, Masaki starts to remember the events of 10 years ago. Madoka. Where's Madoka? Okay, so this is a summary of the, and when we switch characters. Okay, I see what's up now. Oh yeah, I forgot she had the best costume. Twin faces. Now her on the left, that was the girl that we played in the beginning, but homegirl. Yeah, we ain't gotta continue on with that. I need to find Madoka. I think, yeah, 
Yeah, where's Midori? I think that's the girl from the beginning who, yeah, who we, yeah. We controlled her at first, and that was a wrap. All right, everybody, I'm gonna cut it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, I'm glad we're back here with some more Fatal Frame. I hope the audio and everything sounded really good with the Go XLR and everything like that. I'm going to make sure that we're gonna try to keep these going as uh, relatively ASAP as soon as possible. Put a little sprinkle of horror games and everything in there. But I'm gonna try to do my best to be consistent on here and everything just work and everything like that. But I'm not gonna talk to you guys ear off, but I love you guys. Make sure you guys down with that like button. Subscribe your own list. Join the group. Hey, this is Griffin signing off. I'm gonna be silent, humble, professional. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.